doubt you've seen other videos on how to set up Amazon product listing variations. The question they're not answering is, should you? Listen, there's a hidden threat that no one is talking about. And if you want to truly have your product sell on Amazon and succeed at making money, then watch this whole video because I'm gonna help you avoid that threat and even show you the REO domination strategy that's helped small sellers turn into giants. And it all starts right now. Hey Misfit, my name is Sean Farrington and I help entrepreneurs like you to start, launch, and win on Amazon while avoiding the chaos. And this video is cram packed with what you need to do exactly that. And I'm gonna take you inside of Amazon listings variations, reveal the hidden threat that no one's talking about, and then I'm gonna show you the REO domination strategy. But before I do that, if this sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so that you can always grab the latest Amazon FBA strategies just as soon as they hit YouTube. So this topic has come up over and over again. Uh, first with one of my clients this week at Ecom Optimization, which is the Amazon Business Solutions Agency that I run. And then again in my Amazon Marketing Misfits group during one of our live trainings. So I thought it was worthy of kind of jumping into with a little bit of depth. And it begins with this, our Amazon Product Variations MRI. So the idea here is, is that you have a set of products that have similar features or similar benefits and you find some way to group them together. I mean, usually that's by utility. They have a similar function that works together. This came up just today, as a matter of fact, while I was searching for micro SD cards. I use cards like these to capture video in my video system. And I was looking for some and shopping on Amazon. And as you see that there's a bunch of different options on the Amazon page, there's a 16 gigabyte, there's a 32 gigabyte, there's a 64 gigabyte amongst other different options on the page for this product. But in reality, they're actually separate products. There is the 32 gigabyte version, there's a 16 gigabyte version. These are all separate products. But Amazon lets you group them together in a way that's easier for the customer. It's a better user experience for the customer. And the way this is done is by creating product variations. And there's really two parts to product variations. There's the child variations, which are the individual products or the 16 gigabyte, the 32 gigabyte, they're all individual products. And then there's the parent listing that contains the child variations. Now listen, this parent listing is called a listing on Amazon, but no one sees it. No one actually sees this parent listing. The only listings that are seen are on Amazon are the individual product listings. So even in my example here with the SD cards, every time I hover over one of these different items, I'm actually hovering over a different listing for each product. Now this becomes critical to understanding the hidden threat as well as a strategy to overcome that hidden threat. Here's why. Because even though each one of these individual product listings, these individual items are housed in this parent listing, Amazon still looks at them as individuals. And listen, this only gets more complicated once you add other variations. So you can have variations for a number of different reasons, such as size. You can see how product four needs two listings just to have that option of having a small or a large. Now the good part is you can have variations for just about anything from color to style and size or anything like that. So that's the good part. That's the upside. Then we get into the hidden threat. And here's the hidden threat. Let's say you sell one item and you sell it well. It's a fidget spinner. Matter of fact, you sell it so well that Amazon loves you, customers love you, you got five star reviews, and you even rank on page one for the term fidget spinner. And now you think, hey, we're doing so well, we need to expand. So you decide to launch an LED fidget spinner. And their thought goes something like this, that hey, we've done so well with the first listing that we've got these great reviews, Amazon loves us and everything. We're just gonna hopefully share some of that love. And the logic seems reasonable. As a matter of fact, this is why I get asked this question so often is, Sean, I have this product that's doing awesome. It's got great reviews. I want to launch this new one. Should I list this as a variation so that it gets some of the love from the reviews? The logic is awesome, but here's where it starts to get complicated. Let's dig in just a little bit more. When you dig in, you see that Amazon really thinks of these two items as two separate listings. And they don't show up like this. How they often show up is like this, where you see the fidget spinner, the one that's doing well, and then the other one can only be seen when you click on it. That's how the variations are shown. 
And this is where the hidden threat comes in. You see that your original listing ranked for the term fidget spinner, but your new listing is actually an LED fidget spinner. Similar but different, right? But here's where it gets interesting. You see, Amazon knows this listing. Amazon loves this listing. This is the listing that Amazon will feature because Amazon loves it. Why? Conversions. Amazon loves this listing because it converts over and over again. Do you think Amazon is gonna give up one of these pieces of real estate for no good reason? Each one of these positions, these top positions on page one are money making real estate for Amazon. The good news is your original listing is a money maker for Amazon as well. So each one of these products on page one stays in that position because they convert more shoppers into buyers for those search terms than anyone else on Amazon. These are proven money makers for Amazon. The other reason is they're dissimilar. Being dissimilar is one of the reasons why products won't show up on page one for search terms on Amazon. The reason for that is, is that Amazon is obsessively focused on the customers. They want to give the customers the best shopping experience they can. Why would they show them a page with the exact same thing or something that Amazon thinks is the exact same thing over and over again? They're gonna offer one of each, whichever one converts better that they think is unique, they're gonna offer those up to give the shoppers the best shopping experience. Now this starts to cause problems for you and your variation listing because at this point, your new product is essentially the same to Amazon's A9 algorithm. Amazon thinks this is just another version of the exact same thing. So it will only choose to promote da da da, the best seller, the original. And then what happens is the new one that you wanted to get ranking and share all that love from becomes hidden, it becomes buried. It is overshadowed by the winner. Your precious new launch has just been overshadowed by the winning listing that has been making money for Amazon. The only way that anyone will discover this new product is when they get onto the listing and click on it. And then you're really only going to get secondary sales. Sales that come because someone landed on your listing, discovered the other item and goes, hey, that's interesting and I'm going to click it and then buy it. But this original listing, it will continue to get love. The other one will just remain hidden because Amazon doesn't want to show the same thing on page one over and over again. And that one's been a winner for Amazon. It's made money for Amazon. All those FBA referral fees, those pick and pack fees, it gets to charge you because that makes money on Amazon or Amazon. So that's the hidden threat, but there is hope. Let me give that to you. And now I'm gonna help you to avoid that threat and even show you the REO domination strategy that has worked over and over again. And as I said, this came up during one of our live Wednesday trainings in the Amazon Marketing Misfits group. If you haven't been there yet, go check it out. There's a link in the description below. In there, I go live every Wednesday to answer your questions. There's tons of training in there, checklists and blueprints. It's all for free. And listen, you could just go join the group, download all the resources and then quit if you wanted to. But in that group, I'm really there to take your business to the next level. Oh, and it's free. And this next strategy I actually gave in depth in the group, but I wanna give you a peek at it right now. It's called REO domination. And the idea behind this is to own more real estate on Amazon. REO stands for real estate owned. And perhaps you've heard that term if you've been involved in real estate at all. But this strategy, we want you to own that real estate on Amazon. Really, we consider a listing as a piece of digital real estate on Amazon. I mean, if owning a little piece of real estate is good, then owning all of the real estate must be better, right? Why just have a variation? Go for domination by owning more real estate with your current products. And you do this through multiple multiple listings. Back to our first example of the fidget spinner and the LED fidget spinner. Listen, there's nothing wrong with having the variation. Go ahead and make the variation listing, but why not let the LED have its own shot at success by owning its own real estate on Amazon? Let me show you what I mean. When you set up the listing correctly, you give this product, the LED fidget spinner, its own shot at winning for LED fidget spinner as a search term. Why? Because Amazon loves it. Why does Amazon love it? It simply converts better for the search term LED fidget spinner than all of the other options on Amazon. That's why Amazon loves it. 
So you've done all the right things for Amazon. You've made this listing into a converting machine. Amazon will love it because it makes money for Amazon and makes money for you as well too. And it's dissimilar from the other product. It's its own listing. Again, the idea here is that you create two unique listings. And listen, using this strategy, your original fidget spinner listing can still win too, but now you're occupying two positions on Amazon. As your LED fidget spinner starts to rank for that term, it will also start to rank for the bigger search term, fidget spinner. And this will let you own two pieces of real estate on page one of Amazon instead of just one. And this is really the essence of this REO domination. Owning that real estate on Amazon comes from multiple listings and having the same product differentiate. And listen, this strategy's worked over and over again. As a matter of fact, there was a textile manufacturer who owned all the top positions on page one on Amazon for, let's say, the search term towels. What they did was create multiple listings focused on the same SEO set for towels that would land them on page one. The same product over and over again. Now, let me be honest with you here. There was a bit of an advanced strategy. Um, I don't have time to go over it here, but if you're interested in that, hit me up inside the group, ask me the question, I'll answer the question inside the group for you. But let me say this, you don't have to know the advanced strategy to get results from this REO domination strategy. Using this strategy right can land you with multiple pieces of real estate on page one. You can land with the original one, fidget spinner, for LED fidget spinner, and then if you group them together, creating a bundle or a kit listing, you can actually land for fidget spinner set. And the strategy makes sense, right? Plus it works, but there are some details. Let me get into those right now. All right, you wanna own all that real estate? Here are the details you need to know. First, Amazon cannot think this is the same product. Remember, they have to seem like different listings to Amazon. They have to seem dissimilar to offer a variety to the shoppers on Amazon to make the shoppers happy. So how you do this is by offering up new creatives and new UPC slash GTIN codes. And what I mean by creatives are the copy, the image stacks, all of that kind of stuff that makes it truly seem like it is a different listing on Amazon. And the same for the GTIN and UPC code. You do not want that crafty A9 algorithm getting any hint of connection between these listings. And really you want to truly differentiate. You want these to seem like truly different products to everyone, including the customer. Come at that marketing from a completely different angle, hitting completely different pain points in a unique way and a unique perspective. This will give you the opportunity to appeal to different customers in different ways. Really what I'm trying to say is go for the win. Who better to beat you than you? Would you rather put yourself out of business or have someone else come along and put you out of business instead? And what's the real risk here? Obviously it's split attention, meaning you have to divide your attention between multiple listings now, but if you're gonna grow, you're probably gonna do that anyways. And you already have the inventory, meaning if you already purchased one of these items and now you're selling them on two or three other different listings, Hopefully you're selling more of them, which in the end is really better for your business because now you get to actually purchase more from your manufacturer, which should lower your costs and thicken up your margins more. You're selling on multiple listings, you should be selling more volume of those per month. So there are truly distinct advantages to using this strategy for your own business. Advanced marketing tactics like these are available inside my group, along with all those free resources I talked about. If you haven't been there yet, check that out. The link's in the description below. In there I go live on Wednesdays to answer your questions so I can be available to help you through whatever you're struggling with right now. Jump into that group, ask the questions, and check out these videos over here. They're gonna help you go to the next level on Amazon and beyond.